All right, Mr. T back here uh, with another one of your projects for this week. So uh, today we're going to look at drain catchers. We're going to look at faucets, um, all that type of stuff. So uh, today we're actually underneath of the sink uh, in the bathroom where I actually replaced um, the toilet seat in the other day. Um, and so <clears throat> what I'm basically showing you here uh, is just your basic uh, underneath of your sink. So uh, you have your hots and your cold. Uh, this is your water coming in uh, to the actual faucet itself. You'll notice these uh, actually go up to the top side there um, and are controlled by the valves that open and close uh, your your sink. Um, this is your basic drain. Okay, so we have this U-shaped um, drain catch in here. Uh, and today what we're going to do is we're actually going to check uh, to see if that there's anything in here uh, that could potentially uh, cause any type of buildup or uh, backups in the system. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to do uh, is I want to make sure that I shut my water off. Now it doesn't really necessarily matter. Um, I just do this as a precautionary tale because as soon as you remove this, anything that comes down this drain here will fall directly into this catch pan. Okay. So uh, the first thing that I always do is I just turn these off. Look on your knobs, okay? I can only turn it one way, so I know that that way has to be off. Um, and notice whichever direction that these are pointing. So if these are pointing, that means that that's stopped. There's no flow, okay? The arrow's not pointing towards the actual drain itself. So I know that these are both off, okay? So turn both of these off first. Then you know your sink can't run while you're doing this. The other thing I had mentioned already, and you can kind of see it a little bit, and I'll point down here just a touch, um, is I have a catch pan, okay? So I have this catch pan down here because a lot of times, um, and 99% and of the time, what's gonna be is there's some type of water in here um, because notice that this right here is about the lowest point of this entire drain and how plumbing works and how you've seen um, is that pressure builds up and then throws it into the pipe. So sometimes there is uh, some water that's built up down here. Not all the time, but a lot of the times there is. The two things that you have to do, the first one <clears throat> is you have to find these couplings, okay? These couplings are screw-on type, okay? So there's one here and there's one here, and literally all we're going to do is take out this piece, okay? So I'm going to start by loosening these and taking these off, and then I will jiggle it out. So again, you got to make sure, and this can sometimes be stinky depending on where you're uh, working, because remember, this is wastewater. This is water and uh, other things that you put down drains that you don't want anymore. So um, if you don't grease down your drain, sometimes there can be grease buildup. Um, if you are in a bathroom or something like that, you could have hair buildup, uh, all that kind of stuff. So just remember that this can get kind of stinky and know that there's a potential to get a little bit of dirty here. Um, so I always make sure that my catch pan's underneath of here. So I've loosened this one, okay? This coupling will always stay on here, okay? So I know that that section's loose. Now I'm gonna do this back one. one took a little bit more. This is typically where I'll find that I get some of that water. And so that one came off, so I just pushed it up. So essentially this coupling, if I give it a little twist here, will come right off, okay? So as you can see, it is a little dirty. There's actually not much water in here, uh, which is good. But there's no buildup of anything in here. If there was buildup of something, you could pour it out and then dump it outside, um, put it in the trash, whatever the case might be. But it does smell a little bit, um, and that's because this leads out to your sewer, okay? Um, and so, yeah, sometimes you can get some smell uh, coming back that way. So uh, I take this off, check this for any kind of leaks. Um, doesn't look like anything's leaking. Looks like everything's sealed up pretty good. Now I just all I got to do is put it back on. So I start here, and notice how this will spin, right? So you could really have, no matter where you're at, um, you know, sometimes your drain might be over here. So you might have a U that goes in this direction. Sometimes it goes straight back. This one goes a little cant to the right, okay? And so now what I typically do is I will start after I get this lined up. Is I'll start with this one just to make sure that this, because this will move up and down, okay? So I try and get that one a little bit secure. Slide this back one down. Tighten that back one. 
No need to use any type of uh, wrenches or anything like that. These should all just be hand tight because they are meant to get checked, um, especially if you've got uh, plumbing issues where you're backing up a lot or something like that. So no need to get any type of pipe wrench or anything like that more than likely these will come out uh, relatively easy. So I've done this back one, now I've just gotta finish up tightening this front one. And that's literally all I had to do. It is that simple to check your catch drains. Um, it's a relatively good thing to check them. You don't have to check them every year, but checking them every once in a while, especially if you're uh, getting a lot of backups, things like that. Um, I have noticed in my upstairs um, bathroom, uh, where there's more female presence, uh, that the hair and stuff like that just tends to get caught a little bit more. Um, so you will sometimes find uh, that in there. The last thing I got to do, and I always do this before I leave, um, is make sure that you turn these back on. Otherwise, you're going to come into your bathroom or your uh, sing in the kitchen and be like, what the heck is going on? I This was just working yesterday, blah, blah, blah. It's just as simple as this. So all I do is turn this back on, turn that back on. I'm done. Double check, make sure these are tight and it's all over with. So hopefully that was a good enough tutorial. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do this if you don't feel comfortable, um, but it is a possibility for you um, if you would like to. So I look forward to your submissions.